All right, let's say that you want to have a seating chart for a substitute or you just operate better being able to take attendance uh, via a seating chart. So I'm gonna show you how to set that up. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to get to our attendance space. I'm gonna go up to teacher access from our uh, homepage. I'm going to go to uh, my classes or, or post daily attendance, either one will work. I'm going to uh, look at my attendance options here. So I can do by name, by seating chart, or assign seats. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on assign seats. Now I have the option of how many rows and how many seats per row, depending on how my class is set up. If you have an unconventional setup, you might do it to where you have a group of students so maybe these four seats are one group and then I'll leave a space and then another four, depending on however I have my, my students set up. So these students are in a seat. I can go ahead and click on fill seat and it will give me the option to add students to that. Um, so one thing that's very helpful for subs is if there are pictures. Now some of the pictures are going to be out of date uh, depending on when in the year you're doing this or uh, how updated Skyward is for that student. So I have my picture set here. So this is where my kids are. So I'm going to go ahead and click save. And then when I go back to take attendance by seating chart, I can very easily see where students are. And I can mark them either absent, tardy, or present based on uh, whether or not they're there. So one thing for your substitute is you would go to printer friendly listing and then you can print out uh, any of the information that you need there and have that ready for substitutes.